Hey y'all, Instinct Survival is coming again with another Two Tip Tuesday. This is take number 55, I think. Um, anyway, you'll probably see some of the edits at the end. Anyway, guys, this time we're going to be talking about chews and chamfers. What does that mean? Beaver chews and chamfering pieces of wood. Now, while this is not part of the knife safety, it was kind of a natural lead in to after the fact. Now, what are we talking about today? Specifically, when we talk about chamfering a piece of wood, if we have a stake as an example that needs to go in the wood and we need to baton it or hammer it in, if you will, we want to prevent the wood from splitting. Now, some of you have seen this happen, you've seen it uh, done before, uh, and I'm just going to show you how to properly, properly chamfer a piece of wood for a stake or something of that nature. The other is uh, beaver chews. So you can see in this case, I've actually chewed one of the pieces. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, with a knife. Um, and you can see the point on this. Now, the reason for this is because we may need to get an exact piece of wood or something that fits within a certain you know size limit. And if we don't have an ax, we don't have a saw, we need to find another way to do that. That's where beaver chewing comes into play. And I'm actually gonna show you a close up of beaver chewing and the chamfering, okay? So stay tuned, I'm gonna reposition the camera and we'll get right to it. Okay, so let's look at the chamfering first. When we do a chamfer, what we're dealing with is, again, you've got the flat piece, the part where you've already sawed off or cut in or even beaver chewed it. And again, we'll talk about that in a moment. But it's actually just taking uh, and really doing a thumb push or a push cut away from the edges going towards the edges away from the point is what I meant to say. We're going to do that. And you see it's fairly easy. All we're doing is just kind of bringing it in a little bit. Uh, I probably put a little more chamfering on mine than most people do, but that's about all you need right there. And what that's gonna do is when you hammer this in, when you actually hit it with a baton or hit it with a, a ax uh, pole, or if you hit it with a physical hammer, then what's going to happen is it's going to mushroom out. Well, these chamfering, the chamfering actually prevents that uh, or greatly reduces depending upon how much chamfering you do, depending upon the wood, et cetera, et cetera. If it's soft wood, it's still going to do a little bit, but not near as bad as if you didn't chamfer. So that's kind of it. Uh, we'll go and hammer this in and uh, show you what that looks like. All right, folks, so it's pretty simple. I got a wedge point. You can make it a regular point, spear point if you want to. Stick it on the ground. that sucker home no mushrooms all right folks so what I'm doing is I'm actually just taking this this one piece of uh, stick it's gonna be fairly easy I just want to shorten it a couple inches so we're gonna cut down to about right here well I don't have a saw well I mean technically I do because I have a Swiss Army knife in my pocket that has one but let's say that we don't right let's hypothetical so all I'm doing is same type of thing as we just did with the chamfers is we're just cutting in pushing with our thumb turn cut push with our thumb turn cut push with our thumb same thing same thing all the way around now when I get to the when I get all the way around then what Bill well guess what I'm gonna go in a little bit deeper and the reason we go a little bit deeper is doing the exact same thing because we're all we did at the first round was just take off kind of the top layer if you will now most of the time i do it about middle of the knife you can do it down towards the uh towards the hand guard if you will or towards the handle or towards the hilt or whatever you want to call it but we're just moving straight into it and we're just rounding it out right just doing a a chew all the way around you can go whichever way clockwise counterclockwise don't you know don't follow my pattern if you don't want to do that that's fine but what you'll see is you'll see it's all mushrooming out now if I were to take off the the bark that we've already pulled off let's see if I can do that you'll notice that it's got little chews into it so when I get deep enough or what I think is deep enough then what I do is I literally just take my thumb and pop there you go now bill what about this what if it's too high what if i don't want it there well then cut it off it's real simple so you can just take and use your cuts to bring it down doing the same types of processes we've been doing over the past three weeks you make it as flat or as round as you want or hey guess what look at this we can use a pairing method 
Remember to keep your thumb out of the way. It helps that this one's nice and green. So there you go. Now what does both ends look like it? You can see it that way and you can see it that way. All right, so there you have it. What you saw today was us doing a chamfer cut for a stake or other thing that you might hammer into the ground. Great if you're trying to make a uh, pit accessory, if you will, or a fire accessory. Um, real easy to go in and hammer them home at that point because you're not hammering into the Y, of course. Uh, the other side of that is the beaver cut. Now, this could be done from a standing tree uh, or a standing sapling. Okay, I don't want to say a tree because if you do it with a tree, it's going to take you forever. Use an axe, use a saw, use something else other than a beaver cut around a tree. Anyway, hey guys, so what else is coming? That's that's the thing I want to talk to you about. I want to spend a few more minutes talking to you about uh, what's coming. So I know down the road, uh, probably in the next couple of weeks, we'll be reviewing what's in this package. 200 kit, 200 piece kit. So that's from uh, Protect Life. I'll be letting you know what's going on with that. Um, Two Tip Tuesday is uh, still on track. Uh, we may take a break in August or something like that. However, keep in mind we are doing a Q&A the 3rd of August. Okay, the 3rd of August. Where's the 2nd? <laughs> I'll post it up. Uh, it's the 2nd or 3rd of August. Doesn't matter because your deadline for questions is the 31st of July. July 31st deadline for any questions so that I can actually take those questions and then film them right that's what it boils down to so get your questions in going from there um, big big did I say big big news coming down the pipe um, I'm not ready to share it yet but it's it's huge <laughs> it's, it's big and huge uh, there's a couple of folks that actually know about it but not everyone so uh, I can't wait to share it with you. You'll start seeing it being uh, posted via social media uh, as well as probably in my videos and then we'll have an upcoming video series to go with it. Uh, but again, that's down the road. Um, got a couple of overnights that are coming up. Uh, be glad to film those and just got word this morning, Foxfire Mountaineer Festival in Clayton, Georgia. Foxfire Mountaineer Festival in Clayton, Georgia. So if you're going to be uh, near Clayton, around Clayton, whatever uh, I think it's August the 3rd come see us five bucks to get in how about that so not too shabby uh, come see us Georgia Bushcraft's gonna be there I'm gonna be there no 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 come anyway it doesn't matter whether I'm there or not okay just <laughs> come visit have a good time uh, but come shake my hand if you're around until then use your instincts to survive thanks for watching y'all yeah. hey, instinct survivors coming again with another two tip Tuesday anyway <laughs> this time we'll be talking about Chews and chamfers. <laughs> well, not quite part of the knife safety pieces. We're trying to put some of this together. So we're going to use thumb pushes. We're going to use a couple of other methods and, and things of that nature. But let's talk about the two things we're, we're wanting to do today. First off, it's being able to speak correctly.